All right, Wednesday evening, 2nd of March, 2016 out here. And it's raining like it does in Oregon. Springtime. Um, a lot of my trees have blooms already. That there is an Italian prune tree. It's got its little white blooms. And then uh, our plum trees up by the fish pond are all in bloom. So it looks like spring, although um, I don't really think it is, but we'll see. Anyhow, I've got a few chunks of pipe here. Two inch, I went to the getting place, got a few little things. And then I have the old uh, stuff. That snake there on the left that I took out of my old two door. And some other pieces laying around. I filled so, um, a pipe of the appropriate diameter that basically runs from here back to the back there. This is the one I took off the truck and it's just pretty small. And I uh, will be omitting this piece right here. But uh, yeah, hopefully I have enough pieces to kind of snake it back and out of the way. All right, we got the front here uh, up on jack stands. And then what I did is I went ahead and put the uh, rear up on a couple of stands, get it up out of the way, I can be under here and work on it. And I put them right under where the leaf spring attaches to the rear axle, so it'll be like normal ride height. And uh, I'll be able to figure out where that exhaust goes. I think factory goes right up in this area. And then down behind the rear tire and out. So that should be fairly, fairly easy and straightforward. But while I'm under here, I'm going to have to drop this tank this fuel tank, um, it had been replaced. It's a new fuel tank. The other one leaked and it had been replaced and um, the fuel gauge does not work. So I don't know whether they didn't hook it up or whether it's a bad uh, sending unit. I don't know what it is. But I need to probably drop that tank and figure it out. Anyway, so I gotta drop this tank down. It, uh, the straps pivot from this side and then they're bolted in on the driver's side. So I'm going to, i got a little uh, jack under here to hold it up. I think I've got oh, five gallons or less in here. And all the hoses are over here and they're all flexible. So it should, should uh, you know, come down a little bit fine. And then hopefully I can see up on top from uh, the other side there and um, get the cable plugged in. and then these are hooks so I don't think I have to take that bolt all the way off and I hope I can just take them down a ways and unhook them but we're going to have to see so if I get these hooks alright off of here now theoretically I can go ahead and lower this tank wall a little bit and possibly whoa see uh, see what's going on up there and repair it or reattach it whatever I'm gonna go with that I can almost see up in there oh yeah I think I can do this I can see so I can see where it goes or I can't see I can uh, yeah, if I were Ray Charles, I could see it. But anyway, it, it goes in here. And, uh, yeah, so that'll but be easy the, enough. The cable, the cord that was on this tank was pretty ugly. And the one that I found on the old tank outside I brought in. And it looks pretty good, so I'm going to use it. All right. Oh, oh. Goes oh, for an Amelia. I just can't. I'm just too fat. Oompa loompa, doopity doo. There it is. Oh yeah, clip. Oh yeah. That's very cool. All right, I got that plugged into the tank. Next, I'm going to plug it into the truck, and then we're going to go check before I put it all back together. Alright, being that the uh, 
fuel gauge moved, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this tank here. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So, got to figure out how all this rubber strapping they had in here goes. And that end went right back up into its little carrier zone, too. So, being careful not to disturb it, I'm going to... Well, that didn't work. Excuse my language. Alrighty then. Wow, I got more than, more than five gallons in here, I guess. Yeah! How many gallons is in this? This is about take 12, but uh, I'm going to call this the uh, fuel tank fiasco, and that previous clip, I guess you can see why. Um, I did cut it off basically because profanity ensued, and it just wasn't a pretty thing to see. And, uh, yeah, but I did get it put back up in here. All the little rubber cushions are where they belong. The uh, gauge is plugged in and functions properly now, so I'm really happy about all that. All that's left is... Uh, uh, one little zip tie just to kind of neaten up this little bit of extra wiring here, this little extra slack, get it up out of the way, and uh, I'm calling the tank good to go. So now I'm going to start on what I came out here to do this evening originally, which is uh, the exhaust. And i got to take it from here, basically. I, I have to uh, put some hangers in up front. Um, haven't done that yet, but I'll get to that. But I need to basically bring it from here, back down and out to behind the rear wheel here. So that's something I'm going to work on next. But uh, for the second out here, thanks for watching. Cut. <laughs>